stress turn from the good guy to the bad guy. I'm sure all of you know what stress is like. And this is basically our body's response when our um, personal balance is disturbed. So when we are threatened, our body kicks into high gear with a fast and automatic process called the fight and uh, flight reaction. So this is for handling emergencies basically and many organ systems need to be ramped up in order to cope um, when we are on red alert. So take note which organs are actually affected because this will tell you why with chronic stress your health declines. So the heart rate and uh, blood flow to muscles will increase because you will need to run faster and fight harder. Then your blood vessels under the skin constrict, prevent blood loss in case of injury. Your eyes dilate to see better. Your blood sugar will actually need to be increased to provide the additional energy. Then at the same time, body processes that are not critical for immediate survival are actually in inhibited. So things like your digestive, your reproductive, your growth hormone, immunity, they are like kind of shut down to allow the body to cope on the immediate threat. Okay, so this biological process of stress is meant to protect and support you. And it is actually how our ancestors survived um, with like the life and death situations. And in fact, a small dose of stress is actually good for you because it gives you the push that you need help you to be motivated and actually give you focus and an extra push but with chronic stress you become overloaded you are overwhelmed and can't cope then it becomes a threat to your well-being so in modern day and we are also faced with things that are not really like tigers that are faced by cavemen we face things more of psychological issues like uh, facing deadlines the facing of the piling up of bills and all this so how does stress affect you it affects you so much that you probably want to reduce the impact of it on your body so because of the way that the organs are ramped up during this stress response you may have headache muscle pain chest pain um, fatigue your sex drive is um, changed and then you may have stomach upset and sleep problem well, for your moods, it's totally like uh, different, totally different. You're so affected with uh, things like maybe anxious, you have anxiety, anger, you may be depressed, you may be sad, overwhelmed, and um, don't have motivation or focus. And thirdly, your behavior could be changed. You may have uh, changes in appetite, you don't feel like eating, or you eat too much. You resort to things that are temporary stress relievers like um, alcohol and smoking which are very bad for your health already you withdraw socially and then you exercise less often so I'm going to give you some tips to cope with stress you firstly you pause you take a deep breath and count to 10 this will calm you down deliberately allow you not to act on impulse the second thing is try to learn some breathing exercises because when you breathe deep, slowly, and concentrate on the breathing, you can remove some of the inner mind chats that um, disrupts your thinking and all that. And focus on the present moment. Thirdly, think positive and laugh often. Read motivational books or watch uh, some very good inspiring videos, whatever joke books that you may like or YouTube videos that can make you laugh because laughter is the best medicine for us and exercise keeps your body in good shape and remove attention from the stress you could also eat a well-balanced diet because right now your body is already stressed out so you want to give it the resources it needs to cope in that situation and never turn to a temporary stress relievers like uh, alcohol or smoking because as you know the body is already not in good condition you're going to tip it further away to the negative end okay and we have um, options for you to cope with stress things that help you to relax so what you do you can do is like uh, maybe you, you can use stress away here you apply on the chest and then you inhale them because inhaling is the best way for our emotions to be um, 
helped by the essential oils. This is the part of the limbic system that uh, it will link to the limbic system which helps with uh, emotions. You could also drop the essential oils on pillowcases so that throughout the night you can have uh, smell the oil and get the benefits from it or of course you can diffuse them. And we also have roll-ons. This roll-ons will be very convenient for you to carry around. Rub on your wrist, rub on your chest, and then rub a bit on your brainstem if you want to just relax the areas. And um, some things like stress away, you have this oil and the roll-on version. You can use lavender. And I really like this tranquil here because tranquil actually has chamomile in it and it's really uh, relaxing like the name suggests, right? So this is a roll-on version which is very convenient or the peace and calming but peace and calming just be careful because it stains you may not want to put it on your pillowcase right helps you to calm down and you can either use things like uh, ylang ylang bergamot or geranium because like this oil can uplift you so that you can cope better in this uh, stressed out situations so learn to cope with stress because it is always going to be there and it's how we cope with it that matters and these are some of the tips that i have for you hope that it helps i'll see you in my next video